Okay, we've got Eric Almirola coming in here today, and we appreciate you coming in, Eric. He's uh, off to a good start. He's driving the number 43 Farmland Ford for uh, Richard Petty Motorsports. I believe you're, what, 10th in points? Tied for 8th, technically. Tied for 8th, technically. There's a man here that uh, keeps up with what he's doing, but uh, congratulations uh, uh, on, on a good start so far. Obviously been at Daytona and at Phoenix, and now we come to Mile and a Half Racetrack. Maybe talk about getting out of the gate early and uh, how you how you think that's going and uh, maybe what you maybe can attribute that to. Yeah. Well, I think first attribute it. Uh, I can attribute it to Todd Parrott and all the guys on this 43 team. We kept uh, the core group of guys is the same from last year that we ran so well the last 10 races with. So um, going into this year, I was more excited than ever um, about just showing up to the racetrack because I knew I was going to be competitive. Uh, based on how we finished last year so you know every year you always get excited about going back to race it's I'm a racer that's what I love to do but this year I was excited about what I had the opportunity I had ahead of me so um, we've gotten off to a good start and proven that uh, all my expectations were correct and the big thing that we wanted to focus on this year was to not dig ourselves a hole at the beginning um, and that's hard to do um, or easy to do and and hard to stay away from at Daytona to get in a wreck or something like that so um, Daytona was uh, was good we got out of there with a solid finish we were we felt like we were in good position there at the end of the race and got shuffled out and then worked our way back up and got a good finish out of it so excited uh, to get off to a good start um, even though it's only two weeks in it's uh, it feels good to be you know competitive and and be where we want to be in points and we just got to keep this going. Very very good very good thank you Eric we got questions for Eric and uh, if you got one uh, raise your hand maybe state your name who you're with and we'll get to you go ahead. Uh, Alan come on NASCAR.com how much weight do you put into this practice or this weekend yeah. to kind of tell you maybe how the entire year will go on these intermediate tracks? Yeah not much right now um, we've been we've us for sure have been through a, a pretty big test plan already this morning so just trying to gather data um, on this new car and uh, just work out some things and some things that we were unsure of uh, that we we thought we had ideas on from the Charlotte test um, and we came here to try and verify them or, or figure out if they're going to work or not work. So um, we haven't really started tuning, so to speak, uh, for, for race conditions at all. We've just been going through a pretty big test plan and trying to knock stuff out to find out if it's better or not. Let's go over here to David, then we'll go to Bob, and then we'll go to Mark. Eric, uh, you know, this, everybody's talking about how this car could break track records. Is, are the speeds yeah. what, you, what you anticipated, or, or is it the cloud cover has something to do with that? Or do you think if, if it's sunny that this car could approach, you know, a, a track record here, or, or, or what? I, th I think so. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, with the new rules and stuff for qualifying, um, and with the – our cars are lighter. We still got just as much horsepower as we did last year, and we got 100 pounds less weight to carry around the track and less right side weight and stuff. The cars are going to handle better. Um, and then now with the new rules for qualifying to where we don't have to qualify full of fuel, I think, uh, I think you will see uh, track records broken at, at most racetracks that we go to, I feel like. Um, you know, that's, this, this track, um, the tracks where you run close to wide open in qualifying, I think is going to be harder to break those track records um, just because weight is less of an issue when you're, when you're running wide open. It's a... Uh, uh, the best way I can is explain it is like a, a big flywheel or something. Once you get it moving, um, it, it keeps moving. It doesn't matter how heavy it is, but it's really hard to slow it down and start it back up again. Um, and, and this is the same thing with this car. It's It weighs less, but we run so close to wide open, and we did with the old car, that the extra 100 pounds or the more nose weight or whatever is not going to be as big of an issue at a place like this where we're going so fast. But I think it's going to make a bigger difference when we get to places like Bristol and Martinsville and Richmond and those kind of places. Is it, it'll, be, it'll be a big deal. Let's go over here to Bob, and then we'll go to Mark. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. Uh, do you guys work with Roush at all um, at a test like this, or is it pretty much two separate groups? Yeah, it's pretty much two separate groups. I mean, we do we do work with them. Um, you know, obviously we get our cars and, and engines and stuff from them, so um, we stay kind of in tune um, with what each other is doing. But um, 
for the most part, the 9 and 43 uh, run their own test plans, and, and then the, the Roush cars run their own test plans. Um, so, but we, at the end of the day, I think the, the crew chiefs uh, get together and talk about what they, what they saw throughout the day and stuff. So it's somewhat uh, together, but at the end of the day, we're two organizations that race against each other, so it's kind of separate, too. Let's go over here to Mark right here on the front. Uh, Mark Anderson, Las Vegas Review Journal. Um, with the chance of rain tomorrow, do you see tomorrow's testing as sort of a de facto qualifying? Is that how you're kind of approaching it? Yeah, that that will be tough. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. But if it does, um, you know, I think we're working on race trim right now. So we, we haven't focused any on qualifying trim. And for that reason, particular is, is we want to gather as much data as we can in race trim and, and we'll worry about qualifying tomorrow. But um, if we do get qualifying in, it'll be extremely important. Um, we've already seen in the in the first couple of races that uh, track position is key. So we want to uh, we want to qualify well. Uh, it's going to be very important, and we feel like uh, tomorrow will be a good opportunity for us to work on that. And if it does rain, um, unfortunately, we're just one race away from switching over to the new owner points, uh, where we'd have a lot better starting place than than what we're going to have uh, on Sunday if it rains. But um, we're fingers crossed that we get to qualify. Go ahead, Alan. Uh, just given uh, track position last week, uh, do you anticipate any of, any of you guys racing out there to kind of together to get an idea of what it's like with cars out on the track? It seems like yeah. it's been mostly single cars. Yeah, mostly single cars. And, and like I said earlier, is just we're just working on so much stuff. It's it's a new car. We still got a lot to learn. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do differently um, to try and make our cars faster. And if our car goes faster by itself, it's going to be faster in the field. Um, and if it drives better by itself, it you know I'm I'm going to be more apt to pass cars more able to pass cars if i'm faster than other cars so that's really what we've worked on um and we will just go race it uh, I, I doubt many cars i think most everybody gets pretty aggravated when you pull out there in front of them or, or tr start trying to race in practice because um we're, we're all still trying to get a handle on this new car anybody else Eric, how did uh, how did things go for you this morning out there specifically? Yeah, did pretty good. Um, you know, I think I don't know where we, I think we ended up fifteenth or sixteenth or something like that. Um, I'm not sure, but um, we weren't really focused on trying to go for max speed. We were just uh, going through a test plan, and um, you know, with, with this new car, with, there's so many different things aero wise about this car. Obviously, with the new Ford Fusion, it's uh, much different than what we had last year. So uh, we, we've worked a lot with our aero package, um, made a lot of changes with our quarter windows and stuff like that, trying to uh, get an idea of what we're going to need uh, come Sunday for the race. So that's been our biggest thing. Um, is is been kind of test and tune, and and we'll start uh, worrying about race preparation uh, tomorrow and Saturday. Well, you guys were you were fast most of last year. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I know in particular, if I recall, at uh, Michigan. Uh, Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. Okay. That, I knew it was somewhere in the Midwest. Yep. Uh, you guys were, uh, were were super quick. You 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 think you've got that speed in that car this year so far? I I feel like it um, so far, and and you know at Phoenix was a was our first true test of of how how this year is going to go. Daytona is always a crapshoot. Um, you never know what to expect there. So um, Phoenix, I felt like was going to be our first true test, and uh, there at the beginning of the race uh, when we stayed out got track position. Uh, I raced Biffle for the lead for 60, 70 laps. I felt really good about our program and, and where we were at. So, um, so yeah, I, f I feel like Todd Parrott and all the guys on this on this team um, have done a great job getting our cars ready for this 2013 season. And I really do feel like we've picked up uh, right where we left off from last year. And uh, our chemistry is really good. I know it's you always hear about that, and people always talk about good chemistry and all that. And it's hard to grasp or understand it, but um, it's there. And me and Todd really get along really well, and um, he brings me fast cars to the racetrack every weekend. So uh, Kansas was was disappointing that we ran so well, and I felt like we had that was going to be my first opportunity to win a cup race. And uh, everybody says you have to lose one before you can win one. So I feel like uh, I feel like we lost that one for sure. So uh, hopefully. We'll be able to get uh, get that 43 car back in victory lane this year.